Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very carbonated dandelion and bird dock. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we started construction and got a fairly decent way towards the, well, the basic detention centre is what we're aiming for now. However, we also got the administration set up and running, basic power and a sort of temporary sort of staff room, which is very much in need of a clean. I mean, I am going to actually hire a janitor just to get some of the worst off. So, a couple of issues. Firstly, upon load, we have lost the... Uh, we have have lost a, a grant and had to restart the long-term investment so it's going to take even longer than i thought which is a problem and secondly there's a whole lot of lights waiting which means um two issues firstly the auto light is cancelled upon loading as well and secondly we are going to have to expand the deliveries so deliveries and then bring this down like so now that'll be fine However, we have a couple of lights which we're going to dismantle and it means having to put in the lights in here ourselves, which is not a desirable prospect. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in the basic detention center after, well, we'll get that done first. That's going to give us some breathing room when it comes to the uh, other things that we have to do. So let's just put in the walls first, and naturally that will require also putting in some doors. So we'll have some large jail doors all across here. And then we want a couple of things. We need a kitchen. So naturally this is already uh, earmarked to be the kitchen, so we'll have that as the kitchen. We need a canteen which it's going to be up here, fairly simple. And we need a shower, which is, well, we're going to put that in this corner. And the reason for that is it's just a temporary thing. This is going to be the dormitory, but not at the moment. It's going to be a holding cell. Holding cell requires to be, I believe, a, basically surrounded by walls and doors, which um, it currently isn't, but once the rest's put in, it should be perfectly fine. Only four grand to my name, which is... Uh, yeah, it's very worrying, actually. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this basic detention centre done. It's because of that grant I've basically picked up the long-term investment twice. So we're not going to get much money off it. But we'll do what we can. How is our bank loan? Our bank loan is okay. We can get up to 40000 so that's all right. We probably will pick up that extra loan. And uh, let's go ahead and sort out, say, the shower. So the shower requires a shower head. So we're going to put that in there. And that is that technically done. The kitchen and the canteen uh, similarly is going to be, you know, a technically correct type of thing. So a serving table will go there. We'll have a table and the benches either side of it, like so, and then we're going to have a cooker, followed by a fridge, although I don't know exactly where the fridge is going to go, mm. I'll put one there, and then we also need a sink, which I think I'm going to put there and there, and we'll probably have a couple more as well, although we can probably put the sink closer to the middle, couldn't we, there's no reason why we can't have it there and there, okay, that's fine, so that should be the kitchen and the canteen, technically done and the shower and the holding cell requires a toilet and a bench we might actually get this done with the money that we have it's it's gonna be very very tight but well there you go and then once we've got the basic detention center we're pretty much up and running and then i'm gonna have to spend a lot of time and energy lighting the place which is Right, so how are we getting on with that one? Oh yeah, there we go. So we need uh, two guards, one, two, and two cooks, one, two. And there is the basic detention center. So let's go with cell block A. And that requires us to raise prisoner capacity to 15. So dismantle that, dismantle that. While I'm on, we're going to dismantle that and then remove that room because obviously we don't need it. And well, dormitory. So all of this is removed. And then we will redraw this as a dormitory, like so. Okay. Minimum size is... Why is it not enclosed? Now it's enclosed. So, minimum size is 3 by 2 Indoors, enclosed. We need bank, beds or bunk beds or whatever. So, let's go with bunk beds and how do I want to do this I guess we need to put the ladders on the right side so 
the ladders go on this side. Okay, and then up here. And let's just have a row of 10 and 10. All right, let's see how we get on with that. <laughs> While we're waiting, I've got 139 lights to install. So, go, go, goes, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, I'm just going to put them there and there. There and there, for now. There's a grand completion. That was cell block. Oh, that was, that, that was cell block, uh, cell block A. Let's go for cell block B. <laughs> Back to lighting. Uh, one, two, three, four. 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 And normally I wouldn't do this. Like, count the lights. I just... I, I'm totally fine with just placing them down and just calling it a day. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But, because we're probably cloning it, I don't particularly want to have it as like something that's really off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that means lights are very close to the middle. So what? That's where all of the all of the games stuff will be, so hey, it works out. Um let's just place them in here. And yard we're not gonna have any. So I think we'll just copy the copy what we're gonna what we've got up the top there. And just do something like that. And as I said, this will just be cloned anyway, so it'll look fine. We won't even notice. Something like that. Kitchen can have a similar setup. And at some point I do need to... Yes, I do need to sort this out. Okay, prisoner capacity is... 80. 80%. That's 40. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2 and 2, yeah. So that's... Yes. Is that enough? Enough toilets? Not really. We've got how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 toilets. 22 toilets. And we already have 40 prisoners. Alright. Nothing excels like excess. And there's just one side. Toilets will run down here. And then run up here. Followed by drains. Followed by shower heads. And yes, when this inevitably gets smashed up, we're going to have to dispense emergency mops. Let's go with cell block C. Raise it to 100. <laughs> we're getting there. Um, okay, so we want to have a foundation uh, building concrete and concrete, which goes there. Like I say, eventually all this is going to be indoors. I just don't know what sort of money we're going to have when we get to the that stage. I'm just going to get this lighting in now. And also, while I'm on, we want to bulldoze all of this. Because that's going to be outdoors. So we're already up to... with this cell block... 88 prisoners. <laughs> and even if we don't build any more, <laughs> we've got the same to do on the other side. Oh. <laughs> I may have underestimated the work involved here. Uh, good grief. Okay, utilities and water. That's going to get brought. 
cross. Might as well run it to there. Small pipe to connect all these up. And I don't know if that's... I don't think this is going to reach, but we'll build it like so anyway. And eventually electrical cable will have to run in and around. Oh, due to an administrative error, our completion bonus has been doubled. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking I have one of these rooms for every one of these cell blocks. I don't think we need that, though, actually. No, I don't think we do. What I will do is run the power from this down, like so. And we'll connect up these and this bit, because they're going to have metal detectors in, you understand. And... I mean, all of this is going to have stuff in it anyway, so we might as well build that too. I was going to say, let's max speed it out, but it's been max speed since we started. It's just taken so long. Okay, um, we've got Staff Wellbeing Initiative, Prison Maintenance. Well, there's an easy one. Let's go with Janitor and a Gardener. Didn't get double payment, but that's fine. Uh, Staff Wellbeing Initiative. There's that one completed. Mm. Visitation rights. That's something we'll have to come back to. We could do Security Procedure Certification. Reform. Visit I mean, it's going to be Visitation Rights, isn't it? We'll pick up Visitation Rights because we're going to be building the front bit anyway. Gonna get some more workers. I don't want to just overstaff workers, but I mean that process is already happening. Really, how we're doing for storage? They're actually building what we need, which is good. That's fine. All the pipe work here as well, and it seems to be the staff of staff are all right. I'm going to go with tax relief. I'm going to pick up education. I'm going to go for armory, surveillance, doggos. Mm, i going to get legal as well. We'll get all of that. We will pick up all of that. Which is fine. And eventually the dormitory and such will be all lit up. Let's go with uh, metal detectors. And the reason I'm putting them on both sides is because... They could come, say, through here, and then out and round and potentially could cause an issue. Put it both, both sides. You can't take anything from the canteen, and you can't take anything into the dormitory. It just is that added extra bit of security for us, really. Metal detectors are going to go here, but I don't know if I can do it now, because when we place the foundations, will that mess it up? Probably is the answer. It looks like they they seem to prefer building... The yeah, I do think they prefer building the items to the foundations because we put these foundations in, and they're doing everything but that. I wonder if there's a reason for that. At least this place is looking quite nice. I say nice. It's not looking dirty. Nice is an <laughs> nice is nice is a bit of an overstatement. Uh, it's looking not as dirty as previously, and it appears that they've got all of the shower heads. And the toilet's in. Okay. I know there'll be some people who ask why we haven't added further bits down here. It's because when they filter out, it just, I don't know, it could be a bottleneck. I mean, it is going to be a bottleneck. It's 80 prisoners either side. <laughs> we know it's going to be a bottleneck. But um, it's it less of one, I think, with the way we've done it. Power room's going to go in here. Just going to take, take a little bit of time to put the foundation in. Oh, it's actually the door that's uh, holding us up there. And there we go. So that's going to go in there. Capacitor's going to go all the way around. And obviously electrical cable need to go there as well. Do we want to go super capacitors? Capacitors max plus? Actually, that's probably the way to go. Just ditch off the other capacitors. Should have done that with the one over here. But uh, there's plenty of time for that. 
I do think with that one there, this one here, one down the bottom and the other side, I think that'll be enough power for everything. More than enough power. But we'll see how that comment holds up as we continue building. Minus 1,600. Uh, I could sack some of our staff, like the guards. But I don't mind keeping some on site just for that experience level. Oh, there's the power online. And let's spend probably, what, 20 odd grand? 32 grand. Yes, 32,000. Okay. And, well... It's going to happen, isn't it? Bunk bed. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong. And there we go. A lot of money being spent here. But it is necessary. There's all the power coming in. Getting this all up and running. And... Oh. Grant completed due to administrative error. We've gained double the amount of money for building cell block... A, B, and C in the same episode for one building. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay. Security procedure certification. We could pick up. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? We can do that. Utilities. I'm just going to run them in up the top here. Just to make sure everything's got lighting. We have to put... We're going to have to put cookers in anywhere. So let's just put all of the cookers in there. And the fridges. I don't think it's going to be that though. I think it's going to be... Sinks. Like that. I think we're going to need more sinks. All them sinks. There's the fridges. And then there's going to be stuff running down the back as well. But that should mean that that and that and... I should do that for now. That should have everything connected up, I think. Apart from in the middle there, which is a bit of a shame. I guess that will fix the issue. And in here, we might have to just run another one just across the middle. Okay. Sign three guards to patrol routes and then hire ten guards. There's ten guards. Patrol routes. There's one route, there's two route, there's three routes. One, two, three. There's the grant done. Get that removed. Didn't get double grant though, but we've been very lucky on that anyway. Governmental security ratings is to get dog handlers and armed patrols. We haven't even got that. We haven't even got that on the go. However. No. So here's the thing. 168 prisoners. Currently. But they're still not finished building. <laughs> That's a lot of prisoners. Um, what is the best? Yeah, I don't think we want any more. The rest is going to be TVs and things like that. That's already over what I thought. Well, actually, no, we 256, wasn't it? What we originally bit budgeted. All right, fine. And we don't need those bits. And how is the little... Uh, she haven't installed all the power yet. While they're working on that, let's go up to planning. And I'm going to assume that this is going to be a visitor entrance. So we could very easily do, say, objects down the middle, right? And have that as a booth thing. We could do that. However. Would we not be better just having say. Visitor booths. Visitor booths. Like that. And just have them all the way along. And have it as a massive. A massive visitor area. Up to the. Not really up to the top. I think that might be going. Yeah, too far the other way. 
It does mean contraband can come in quite easily, but we're going to detect it quickly as well. I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing. It's going to require a bit of... A bit of concreting, though. Which isn't necessarily a massive, massive problem. Mm. Well, visitation rights. What other grant do we want to get? I'll pick up governmental security ratings, because that's something we're going to be working towards anyway. The water and power was still waiting to have installed. They're now in there. Um, I'll run these along like... Actually, I won't run like... I'll run these along there and there. These I'll run up and across. Just don't think the rest will reach. Oh, that's actually, yeah, wrong. Dismantle. 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 Don't worry, they'll come in handy for other things. Okay. So, for grading and dormitories, it's a bit different. So you need a certain amount of items for that to be graded. We need visitation room, we need uh, three visitor tables, we need a common room, and we need pool tables, and two TVs, and phone booths, and all that sort of thing. But, phone booths are easy. Phone booths along here. There's the phone booths. Pool tables and common rooms. So, let's go with, uh, hang on, sorry, pool tables, common rooms, TVs. Yes, okay, so... We can get then. Hmm. What is the best course of action, actually? Uh, room quality. Okay, so. Dormitory. Upgrading this room will also improve the grade of this security sector. Upgrades will only motivate prisoners in the cleared for transfer DLC installed. We currently at grade zero. We don't have any windows. Not that we're going to have any. I mean, we can have windows, but it's going to lead on to a corridor, so it's not going to be ideal. We need, uh, <laughs> we need a TV slash large TV for every four prisoners, <laughs> right? A bookshelf for every four prisoners, sink and mirror for every four prisoners, comfy beds, etc. Yeah, this is not going to get graded, is it? Even with the TVs. Are we fully built? 178, 176 prisoners. So we need like over 40 TVs. Yeah, that's not been changing. That, that grade ain't changing. All right, fair enough. Right, pool tables then. Let's just get some pool tables in. So from here, it's pool table, pool table, pool table, pool table. Same again. And same again. For TVs. I might as well have large TVs. Uh, let me... Let me place one first, actually, because I can't remember the size of the large TV things. I'm definitely going to have two. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove those pool tables. I don't like... I don't like all of those just in one big lump. Instead, we're going to have... Should we have... Yeah, we should probably have, like... Uh, oh, is it better if we do it this way? One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, it's better if we rotate them round. Let me dismantle all of these. Better to do it now than later on. Let's so say this is the model build. So the pool tables... They're going to go a bit closer to the beds than I originally envisaged, but it's not... It's not a problem. And I know they're next to each other. I know it's just... I know it's just how it is. Oh, no, that doesn't even work for me either. One, two, three. That works. At least you can go around them now. Okay. Yeah, we'll settle for that. A bit closer than originally envisaged, but I think it works out for everybody. There we go. And for that... Oh, look at the... <laughs> look, at the look at the size of that. So, for the... TVs then, large TVs, and then chairs. So it was from there to there, there, and there. So it's that. 
And we're probably going to double that. We're probably going to have that again down the bottom. But there's two TVs, two pool tables. We just need the common room and such now. Which we'll just place randomly. It's just a technical thing. Like, common room. There. There you go. And then we need to do the visit visitor area, which is going to be all of this. And I'm surprised that's not powered up. Why is that not connected up? Because um, of that and that. Okay, it is now. Right. So, we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next episode, we will look at the... Well, long-term investment will be hopefully done, unless it glitches out with the whole save thing. Um... Visitation rights will be completed. It means putting in all of this foundation, which is not a problem, but it's probably going to give us... Yeah, it's, put, it's going to put us on low money, put it that way. But I think that means we can potentially plan on getting some prisoners in after that. We need to do the yard as well, which is not actually designated as such because it was since deleted the placing of the foundations okay so we're leaving it there for now that's been a bit of prison architect still a very ambitious build and i think something that is potentially <laughs> gonna fail but the fun will be in finding out as always comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings